Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Jill and it's been a while since I've done this actually. We recently moved from Toronto to Vancouver and this is my new office. We bought a little house. I am pregnant. Hello. Fairly pregnant. I'm 31 weeks. Feeling pretty good, honestly. These past few weeks have been kind of a blur just with moving and like trying to get our house situated. Moving across the country is a pretty big ordeal. I have lots of other vlogs in case you want more information on that. But today we're gonna talk all about spring and summer outfits and shoes. None of these clothes are maternity clothes. I don't think I bought anything maternity actually. I've just kind of like gone up a size or two and made sure that I'm buying things that will work with a bump. So all of these things will work whether you're pregnant or not. A big thank you to Geox for sponsoring this video. I've been working with them for a few years now. I will put in my fall shoes video here from last year. Was it last year? I feel like the pandemic just totally like warps your sense of time. I'm sure being in my third trimester doesn't help either. In case you're unfamiliar, Geox is a contemporary Italian brand and they really focus on innovation and technology. Sustainability is a huge thing for them. They made a pair of sneakers last fall that were made out of recycled water bottles. Obviously as like an Italian shoe brand, really quality, materials is really important to them. So their leathers are gorgeous. They've done a really good job of modernizing a lot of their styles, but their shoes are so comfortable. And I have to say that as somebody who's gonna be a mom and somebody who's quite pregnant, it is just so nice. <laughs> I can't forgo comfort anymore. I just can't do it. I'm not 17 wearing four inch heels anymore. Anyways, I thought I would show you some of my favorite of their spring summer styles and I'm gonna pair them with some of my favorite outfits. I've been living in sweatpants for the last nine months, so it's kind of nice to like wear something a little bit nicer. <laughs> so before we jump in, make sure you are subscribed here for more videos. I do a ton of beauty and fashion videos and then I also started vlogging during the pandemic. I don't know why then, but it's actually been really fun. So if you wanna see more of that, definitely subscribe. I will put my Instagram right here. It's The August Diaries and Let's jump into it. Okay, so this first look is very kind of like garden brunch appropriate. You can also wear this to a wedding depending on where you are, depending on if those kind of things are actually happening. I just sized up. This is a medium. And so this will work, as I said before, for people who are pregnant or not. And I paired it with these like super, super classic ankle strap sandals. They're not very high. And I really like this gold color because it's kind of like a neutral. It goes with everything. So these are the kind of sandals that are classics in your closet. You can wear them with pants. You can wear them with dresses. They're really great for any kind of summer event. The soles are super breathable and they have a cushioned shape memory foam footbed. So they're super, super comfortable and they're kind of like a mid height heel. So you can actually be on them all day, whether you're pregnant or not. Next, we have the little white dress for summer along with a pair of gold gladiator sandals both of which I consider a summer staple. This dress, again, is not maternity, so it would look really cute on somebody without a bump. It has like an open back, really, really, really comfortable, easy to wear. I hate having to like actually do up my gladiator sandals. I think it takes so long and it's so annoying. <laughs> and I just never end up doing it. I like that these are just buckles on the side. They're really, really comfortable. They are kind of the perfect amount of straps. They're not too strappy, but they still have that like very gladiator vibe. 
And again, the gold is kind of a neutral, so I think they work with everything. And then I'll just add this cute little bag. This is actually also from Geox. I think it looks really cute with this whole Luke. I think I might want to wear this today. I haven't worn jeans in, I think probably since before the beginning of my pregnancy. And I don't even think I wore them before then, to be honest, because of the pandemic. But anyways, I finally went out and bought myself a pair of jeans that actually fit below my bum. I think it's like such a cool look, especially with sneakers like this. I think that the classic white sneaker is such an essential for spring, summer, regardless of what season it is, what year it is. Like you can just wear them with everything from like jean shorts to jeans to dresses to anything. And these ones have this really cool kind of breathable Napa leather. They're called an upper, but I really like the design feature of all the little dots on it. I think it makes it look just a little bit different. The detail is really nice. It's obviously really beautifully done. These are a little bit chunky as well, which goes with the very trendy, chunky kind of dad sneaker that's been going on. Yeah, you can basically wear these with like anything. So here's the next look. I am kind of going for like a business casual. And again, wanted to not dress the bump in such a typical maternity way. Like I think you can totally wear jeans like this with your shirt tucked in and kind of wear your bump loud and proud. Throw on a blazer and these amazing classic black pumps and you have like a really cool business casual look. And then obviously you need some kind of sunglasses. These pumps are super, super comfortable. I'm just gonna keep saying that over and over again because basically all of Geox shoes are really comfortable, but they're not too high. The leather is really beautiful. Again, it's an Italian leather. And these jeans are actually pretty much the perfect length without me having to hem them, which never happens because I have really short legs. Okay, so this is a little bit more of a formal look, would be really nice for a summer event or wedding or something like that. I wanted to wear something that was a little bit shorter. It's nice to kind of feel a little bit feminine and girly sometimes. Then because of the shorter length, I paired it with these beige sling back pumps. If you get a color that is kind of similar to your skin tone, so obviously that varies depending on your skin tone, but if you get kind of like a nude that works for you, it makes your legs look so long and sexy and beautiful. And I just really love the color of these for my skin tone. They're like a nudie kind of blush beige and they have really beautiful kind of gold detailing. These ones are slingbacks which I feel like is such a great nod to the 90s. You know, Carrie Bradshaw and all her slingbacks. I can actually wear these for longer than like 30 minutes, which I honestly can't do with my other high heels anymore. I haven't worn heels in so long, and especially being pregnant, and I just don't have the like pain threshold that I used to. With these pumps and then with the black pumps that I had on previously, I would size up half a size. So then I paired the nude pumps with this kind of like watercolor blue print dress. It's easy to wear, really, really comfortable. I'm actually not even wearing a bra with it. And this is not maternity. This is just a dress that works if you have a bump. And then the sleeves you can also pull off for a little bit of like an off the shoulder look. I'm pretty obsessed with all of these looks actually. I have to say, if I do say so myself. Okay, final look. This one is super, super comfortable, pretty casual, very chic. The little black dress just in kind of a different silhouette. It just is like the right shape for a bump. <laughs> so it's really cute to be able to wear it when you're pregnant and after as well. And I paired it with these really, really comfortable kind of platform sandals. 
And I have to say that I never thought I would wear sandals like this again. The kind of like Teva dad sandal is back and I think they're really, really cute. The pale gold color is kind of like a neutral and I think that it makes them a little bit easier to wear. They come in a few different colors as well and I actually really want the black and the cognac brown as well. But I think that for somebody who is just dipping their toes into this trendier sandal that a color like this might be better. They're so comfortable. They have an ergonomic footbed and they also have arch support, which is really nice on like a flat shoe. I don't really wanna take them off to be honest. I mean, this look is like comfortable and chic, which is basically what I go for 100% of the time. I always wanna look chic and feel comfortable and look effortless as well. You could even wear this to like a wedding or something with a bit more of a formal shoe, maybe the ankle strap gold sandals that I had on earlier. Okay, that is it for me. Let me know which outfit was your favorite. Let me know which shoe was your favorite. These are definitely ones that will work regardless of the trends, like they're always in style, they're always gonna be a spring, summer essential, in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching and for supporting my videos and supporting my partnerships. Okay, I really need to go pee, which I have to do every five minutes, and then go have some lunch. Bye.